Hello all, welcome to part 29 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use tagged hooks in Cucumber. So let's get started. So in the previous session, I covered how to use hooks in Cucumber. And in this session, I am going to cover tagged hooks in Cucumber which is a continuation of the previous session, okay? If you have not gone through the previous session, then you may find it difficult to understand the current session. So I recommend you guys to first watch my previous session where I covered how to use hooks in Cucumber and then follow this current session where how to use tagged hooks in Cucumber and how the tagged hooks are different from the normal hooks in Cucumber. So let me quickly switch to this Eclipse IDE. And this is a project we have created so far from the previous sessions. And in the previous session, as part of demonstrating the hooks in Cucumber, I went to one of the step definition classes. I don't have to go to each and every step definition classes to create the hooks. You have to choose any one of the step definition classes of any of these feature files. So have chosen, if you remember, I have chosen search.java in the previous session. And I created these hooks. Only one time I created this, okay? I have not created this before and after in login and reset, I have not created. Only one class I have chosen, step definition class. In that, I created this at the rate before hooks and at the rate after hooks methods. That's it. So what will happen, as explained in the previous session, when you run this uh, feature files, okay? So using the runner class, when you are running it, automatically what will happen is this before and after hooks will be running for each and every scenario in each and every feature file. Though you have created it only once in the such dot java step definition class okay but now for a change i am going to cover tagged hooks and show you how the tagged hooks are different from the normal hooks so guys simple what you have to do is after this at the rate before cucumber annotation you have to provide the circular brackets and in that provide double quotes and in that provide a tag name for example if you go to this uh, uh, uh let's say let me go to register guys okay let me go to register okay register in the register take one of the tag guys okay just copy this tag name that you have used before the scenarios there are four scenarios in before them at the rate register is used and come back here and give that tag name along with the at the rate symbol here okay that's it now here also we we'll provide circular brackets in the after hook and then convert that into tagged hooks by providing the circular brackets double quotes and in between the circle uh, double quotes you have to provide this tag that is at the rate register now you are, you are tying these hook methods only to the register feature file, only the scenarios of the register feature files having this at the rate register tag. So now this before and after will not run for all the scenarios of the, all the feature files, rather these tagged hook methods will only run for the scenarios which are specified with at the rate register tag. That is only the four scenarios in the register feature file are going to run, okay? For this, uh, I mean, this hook methods are going to tag hook methods are going to run only for the scenarios in the register.feature files and other feature files. Uh, this tag hooks are not going to run. We'll see that. Okay. I'll open the myrunner.java. Okay. And right click and say run as JNIT test. We'll see that live. Okay. You'll see that what's happening and all. All the scenarios in all the features file will run, but this tag hooks will only run for the uh, register scenarios in the register dot uh, register dot feature file which are mentioned with at the rate register tag. Okay, let's see here from the beginning in the output. You see for the login, browser got opened is not there anywhere. Okay, uh, let's go to the register. These are all login scenarios, guys. Nowhere uh, browser got opened and closed is not there. But here, if you see the register having the at the rate register tag, you see browser got opened is coming. Browser got closed is coming. Browser got opened is coming for second scenario of the register and uh, Close is also coming. The third scenario got closed, got, got opened, got closed. Fourth scenario of the register, browser got opened, browser got closed. And for search, again, it's not coming. You see, for search also, it's not coming. So these what are the tagged hooks, guys? Okay, these what are the tagged hooks? You can stick the uh, hook methods to the particular tags only for that particular scenario that before and after tagged hook methods will be running before and after, okay? So this how the tagged hooks are different from the hooks that I covered in the previous session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.